Sunday out there, everybody. This is Reverend John Jameson from the Pro Rock House of Worship. And we are here today doing another episode of COVID Comedy Confessions. And today we have Derek Hickey with us today. Derek, hi. Tell us about yourself, man. Well, first off, Reverend John, thank you for having me. Um, should I be kneeling for this or is that, a, is, that, is that acceptable? Well, if we were in a church, that would be acceptable. But for right now, just be comfortable, man. Just be comfortable. <laughs> will do, will do. No, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm actually coming to you guys from the middle of nowhere in upstate New York. Um, I'm a comedian normally out of Brooklyn. Uh, I, I perform throughout New Jersey, New York, and throughout the, uh, the, the Zoom worldwide. Um, and, you know, my comedy really ranges from very, very bad Irish accents all the way to me comparing myself to a golden retriever. So thank you so much for having me today. All right, all right. So you're here today because you have a sin that you need to get off of your chest. So Derek, tell us what is your sin? You know, the thing is, I normally don't dress like this, you know, back up from you too. Um, so the thing is, I'm actually, there's a sin that I've had that I've been hiding for, for, for a while and I'm, I'm happy to share it with you today. Um, I've been keeping it under wraps because, you know, a few years ago I had a man bun and you know, I, I eventually got a haircut and got it all chopped off. And then for the next year or so, I was able to make fun of hipsters around and throughout New York and, and on Zoom. And it wasn't until quarantine that I started uh, growing my hair out and now I have a man bun again. So I just feel like I'm very conflicted and I've, I'm, I'm just a self-hating hipster at this point. Ooh, so your sin is against yourself. A self-hating hipster. Yes, that's mm -hmm. that's an internal turmoil that you got to go. Now, first off, um, do a lot of hipsters hate themselves, or is it just a singling out thing to you? Because you know, like hipsters are the tough ones because they don't actually like to come to confession. I'm so happy that I got my hipster here with me, you know. And and like the long hair thing. Look at I don't know if you saw a picture of Reverend John a few weeks ago. But I finally went to the barber, man. I didn't get a haircut for a freaking year. It was terrible, you know, this COVID stuff. I look, I look like a damn hippie with a hipster shit. You know what I mean? No. So go ahead. So, so what's, what's going on there? Why are you conflicted? Do you like the long hair? Do you like the man bun? Do you not? Why do you get it and make fun of other people? Is that because you make yourself feel better? Come on, tell me the story. Go. Well, uh, what I would say is I feel comfortable talking to you because I feel like Jesus talking to God right now, you know? with the way the two of us look but uh no i i would say that you know there's different types of hate in the hipster community the most popular are probably like the homemade artisanal hate the hate that is uh cage free and grass fed it's uh it's pretty unique and, and a lot of the hipsters hate themselves in, in in those ways saying like you know i need to go on another juice cleanse or i, I need to have an i need to cut off of all of the artisanal croissants and let me just have an acai bowl instead. So, you know, it, it, there's definitely layers and, and just like, you know, the layers of flannel that, that they wear to the, the weddings, it's, uh, it goes deeper. And, and I think we're just scratching the surface at this point, Father John. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? Let's start with this. Like, first off, you yourself, right? You've got to be happy with yourself, right? Forget the hipsters. Take that label out of the picture. You are not a hipster, Derek. You are a Derek. Do you like the man bun? Then it's the man bun, right? You don't like the man bun? Cut it the fuck off. Who cares, right? <laughs> Just do what you want to do, right? But at the end of the day, the thing that's the biggest problem is don't try to reflect on the other people because of you. So here's what we're going to do, right? You're going to go, you're going to go, we're going to take you down. What are we going to do? We're gonna, Where's the most hipsteriest neighborhood you know? Well, you're upstate New York right now. I'm not imagine there's not a ton of hipsters hanging around you up there. Luckily, I've seen a couple in the bushes, but you know they, they've run away when I turned on the lights. Yeah. Uh, but luckily, you know we we do live in Williamsburg. Uh, you know when we go back on uh, tomorrow, actually. So. Okay. So when you get back to Williamsburg, you're gonna walk downtown to the middle of the biggest hipster neighborhood you know and go. I'm Derek and I love hipsters. Can you do that? Can you go, I'm Derek and I love hipsters. Can you, I, want to, I want to see you do that. Like you, you should do that with a, with a live too, you know, take it live. You know, I want to see this online. Like, 
on Derek's profile. Ah, Derek, and I love hipsters. Try it. Let's see you do it right now. Ah, Derek, and I love hipsters. I love me some hipsters. I love me that hipsters. I love me some hipsters. The Urban Outfitters energy is running through me. Ah. So what's so cool about the lumberjack look anyway? With all this flannel and shit. Where, where did that come from, man? Where did that come from? I, I don't understand. I mean, I like me a good flannel. It keeps me warm, <laughs> comfy and stuff. But, you know. Like, you know, I would say, like, for me at least, I, especially in quarantine, cozy is, like, above all else, you know? And, like, I think there's something super great because I'm also lazy. So it's, like, cozy and lazy with the idea of like, I can put on like four layers, like maybe a couple flannels, maybe a couple like long sleeves, tees and things. And just throughout the day, if I'm getting warmer, I don't have to go to my closet. I just slowly just take things off and hey, I'm ready for dinner, you know? Yeah, see, so it's a comfort thing. It's so, <laughs> so hipster comfortability, comfortably this, the comfortable hipster, there you go. The comfortable hipster, man bun comfortable hipster. I don't know. You know, it's man like, buns uh, are okay. You know, man buns are just another expression, right? You like your man bun? Where's your, you, you, you I, I can't see it from here, but you know. I would say, uh, actually, I would say maybe we could start a new clothing line. And, you know, it's like hip leisure. It's not athleisure, but uh, no, um, I would say I love, I love the man bun, but honestly, like 90% of the time, I just have my hair down like this. You know, it's, it's good when I go to church, to be honest, but. I bet you the hip leisure clothesline make more money than comedy. Let me tell you about that. Let me get <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I'm uh, I'm having to go to the donation base at that point, you know. <laughs> so I got one more thing to ask you because if you understand that you were you were touching on that grass fed, grains free, whatever, right? So I was doing some studying because the reverend's got to get rid of a few extra pounds here, you know. And somebody was telling me to do this whole grass fed thing, but did you know that there's a difference between grass fed and grass finished? Do you know that? You, 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 this is an education lesson to the world. Grass fed means that that animal ate grass sometime during its life. Grass finished means it ate, it, it ate grass its whole life. So if you get something that's grass fed, that's another one of those governmental things that'll get over on you because it can be grass fed, but then they can pump it through hormones at the end. So if you want your beef good, you need grass fed and grass finished. That's all I got to say about that. All right, Derek, one more time. I'm a hip you know, Derek, hipsters. and I love hipsters. All right, all right. I hope you feel better. Tell us where we can find you, Derek. Thank you so much for having me, Father John. You guys can find me at uh, Derek underscore Hickey, Derek dash Hickey on Facebook. So have some shows, and I'll be posting up. But thank you so much, Father John. I really appreciate this. Yay.